Solve for integers m and n. n to the power of 5, plus 4 n cubed, plus 66, equals 2 to the power of m. There are two variables and one equation. So there might be more than one solutions. How to find them? We notice that, if m is fixed, then the equation is a polynomial equation in n, with a degree of 5. If m is less than 0, then 2 to the power of m, is not an integer. This implies that n cannot be an integer. So the equation has no integer solutions, when m is less than 0. Therefore, m must be greater than or equal to 0. When m is equal to 0, the equation becomes n to the power of 5, plus 4n cubed, plus 66 equals 1. n to the power of 5, plus 4n cubed, can be written as, n cubed, times n squared plus 4. And 1 minus 66 is, negative 65. The factors of 65 are, 1, 5, 13, and 65. Clearly, the only integer, whose cubed, and whose squared plus 4, are the factors of 65, is 1. As the right side of the equation is negative 65. So the only possible solution is, n equals negative 1. However, when n equals negative 1, the left side of the equation equals negative 5. So the equation has no integer solutions, when m equals 0. So m must be greater than or equal to 1. When m is equal to 1, the equation becomes, n to the power of 5, plus 4n cubed, plus 66, equals 2. Similarly, factorize and rearrange the equation. We can now write, n cubed times n squared plus 4, equals negative 64. The factors of 64 are, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. Clearly, the only integer, whose cubed, and whose squared plus 4, are the factors of 64, is 2. Although 1 cubed is 1, which is a factor of 64. 1 squared plus 4 is 5, which is not a factor of 64. As the right side of the equation is negative 64. So the only possible solution is, n equals negative 2. Negative 2 cubed, times negative 2 all squared plus 4, is equal to negative 8, times 8, which is negative 64. So n equals negative 2, is a solution of this equation. Thus m, n, equal 1, negative 2, is a solution of the equation. If m is greater than or equal to 2, then 2 divides 2 to the power of m, this actually holds, for m is greater than or equal to 1. Because 2 divides 4n cubed, 2 divides 66. So 2 divides n to the power of 5. This implies that 2 divides n. Now we let n equal 2k, where, k is an integer. Then the equation becomes 2k all to the power of 5, plus 4 times 2k all cubed, plus 66, equals 2, to the power of m. That is, 32k to the power of 5, plus 32k cubed, plus 66, equals 2 to the power of m. Rearrange the equation, we can now write 66 equals 2 to the power of m, minus 32k to the power of 5, minus 32k cubed. Because 4 divides 2 to the power of m, as m is greater than or equal to 2, 4 divides 32k to the power of 5, and 4 divides 32k cubed. So 4 divides 66. This is a contradiction, as 4 does not divide 66. This implies that the equation has no integer solutions, when m is greater than or equal to 2. Therefore, m, n, equal 1, negative 2, is the only solution of the equation.